Hello there, friends, and welcome back to the island of Larkshire. We have a busy day ahead. We've got to dig a hole, we've got to build a bridge, and we've got to visit a shady art dealer. Are you ready? Let's get going. Okay, so many things to do, so many directions to go. We're going to start out at Resident Services because we need to spend our nook miles on a couple of things, possibly. One of them is a bridge, and the other one, maybe some fencing for our acre four build. So we're gonna check out and see what Nook Miles fencing we have available today. What have we got, what have we got? Rope fence and barbed wire fence. Yeah, we, I think, already have or have had the option of both of those, so we're gonna say no. We are gonna need this waterscaping permit, however. I know we're not terraforming on this island, but we are going to dig a hole to put a bridge over because we chose in our code 6,000 miles, ouch, uh, our code for acre four uh, calls for a bridge. And even though it has the little star by it, so we don't have to do it if we're not terraforming, I've decided to go ahead and do it. I think it's going to work perfect in this acre because of how it's set up. I'll show you guys in just a minute. So actually we'll get some more nook miles back for doing our first river construction. Even though we're not building a river, we're just going to dig a hole for a bridge. But we got to decide which bridge we want. I'm leaning toward either the stone bridge. Okay, picture this. It's going to be up on a cliff and you'll see the side of it. So stone bridge, possibly. Brick bridge, eh, probably not. Zen bridge, maybe. Oh, see, mm, I don't know. We might want the higher sides. Okay, this is too big of a decision for the first thing in the episode. We're gonna have to go do some other things and come back. We can at least get our hole dug. We got a couple Nook Miles Plus goals that I want to knock out here. And one of them is the hot item and one of them is change our outfit because, you know, look how cute we are. And we can't be messing up this cute outfit by digging holes and stuff, so we're gonna change into something else. Actually, we should have gone into Abel's first, right? And seen what she had today. Uh, let's see here. I did see I have some little patch knee pants and we're totally gonna wear those. Do we have something that goes with those? I don't know. Can we get away with the Dodo Airlines t-shirt? We'll go look in Abel's after and see if there's something that goes a little better, but we'll go with that for now. We're going to put on our trusty OK Motors cap. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do we like one of these other ones better? No, nah, we'll, we'll go with that one. And let's see. We'll just put on some little footy socks so we can wear some little tennis shoes. How about the blue ones? Oh, look, I bought those pleather sneakers twice. Cool. <laughs> All right, that looks like some work clothes. Now we're talking. We will duck into Abel's though and see if there's something that matches these pants better. Because, you know, we got some more storage space and we're just trying to fill it up as fast as possible. <laughs> Let's see here. Nope. Nope. I'm going to go with nope on that. Don't need any of that. I think we're actually good here. Wow. Don't need any of that today. All right. Well, this will work. Let's go. Ooh, do we have those rubber sneakers in purple? I might have actually not gotten them in purple. What was I thinking? Okay, so let's shake down these money trees. And another little project I want to do today is uh, plant a stunted tree situation. So that we have some stunted trees on standby. So we're going to be running into nooks at some point and buying saplings so we can get that started. And what I'll do is just plant some rows of them and let them grow up to different heights and stunt them. But let's, um, I did actually go yesterday and pay off Red's camper on Harv's Island. So we're going to go see if he has anything that we want today. By the way, we have a lot to do today and I'm going to be jumping all over the place probably. So this is going to be in absolutely no particular order and probably uh, going back and forth between stuff because that's just how my brain works. <laughs> so 
Uh, I'm gonna do my best not to get too confused. And to make sure we get everything that we're trying to do done. Alrighty. I've been waiting for Red to come back to the island and he just hasn't... He, I keep missing him. So we decided to just bring him in over here. And we're gonna talk to Harv. Well hello there, I'm pleased to announce the opening of a new co-op in our happy little community. Please welcome Red and his collection of fine art. Well if it isn't my old friend Carolee, we go way back. Yeah, like a couple months at least. <laughs> I don't like the idea of settling in one location. Sometimes a fella doesn't want to be found, you know, but for Harvey, I'm thrilled to set up my shop here. It really makes you wonder, like, what does he owe Harvey? <laughs> now, Harvey, as we discussed before, I have sourced some artwork that I think even you will appreciate. What do you say? Are you ready to come check it out? But even Harvey knows. Uh, yeah, old Harv doesn't have the most bells right now. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Unfortunately, he does not have any of the art that we were hoping for today, but maybe we'll grab something out of the raffle bucket. Box? Raffle box. That's not a bucket. One piece of art per day. Yep, we're familiar. Cousin's discount. Win a fabulous and rare prize. Red's raffle. And since that's where you went first, I'm going to say a little fun is just what you're after. I think that's the first time I've seen that dialogue because I've never gone for that first. <laughs> so that's cool. It's only 500 bells a ticket and each ticket nuts a prize. Yeah, we're in. Let's do it. What'll it be? What'll you win? Let's find out. Number 26, a strawberry donut. Sweet. We love donuts. Why don't you pull another? No thanks, we're good, we're good. One at a time is good. Let's get this haircut out of the way too. I forgot we were gonna have another haircut situation. Let's find out which one this is. I'm sure some of you out there have it memorized so you know. Which one comes along with red? <laughs> but I do not have it memorized so it's gonna be a fun surprise for me. Oh, yay, it's the little braids. I love that. Okay, we'll probably keep that. You look fabulous. I love it. Okay, let's put our hat back on. Okay, we're still looking super cute, even in our work clothes. <laughs> Do we need anything? Oh, let's see. Well, uh, oh, we have a message in a bottle we need to look at. We do have some stuff that needs customized, but I believe it is all stuff we can customize ourselves. This is from a balloon, a cypress bathtub. Very nice. And our bottle on the beach today is a log pack. Super fun. We didn't have that yet. All right. Well, I don't know that I've ever opened a bottle on the beach on Harv's Island before either, so <laughs> maybe it's a day for some firsts. That's kind of funny. Like, we just passed the four-year mark of this game, and I have played it not every single day since the day it came out, but almost all of them. And uh, I'm still doing stuff I've never done before, so that's just cool. We're gonna run over to Paradise Planning 2 really quickly and check what they have today, and I need to gather some glowing moss for our Acre 4 build. Since the other thing we chose be, uh, well, we didn't choose it. I mean, technically we did choose it, but we chose it randomly. The other thing besides a bridge that we're doing in Acre 4 is crafted items, which means items that we make ourselves. And uh, we're gonna do some glowing moss items, which is gonna be super fun. Let's see, what did we get on this one? A ruined broken pillar, nice. We'll probably be able to use that too. So we'll probably grab some vines while we're here too. Let's check the shop first and then we'll do our gathering. Good to see ya. Okay, do we need need any of this stuff? Oh, I kind of really like that ceiling lamp. Let's see how much it is. 3,100, all right, we'll take it. Do we have that big table already? I don't know. I don't have an immediate use for it though, so we're gonna say no. Okie dokie. So, we are gonna be working on Acre 4 today, 
and we're going to be working on the bridge half of the acre because um, you guys we talked about several options for acre four based on what we got and uh, I was a little surprised but in a good way that uh, several of you actually did mention that a cemetery would be nice and so we, that is what we're going to build. That's not the half that we're building today though, for two reasons. Uh, one, because what I have in mind, I want to wait until the cherry blossom trees are here to start building it. Um, and the second reason is, turns out I was just not quite emotionally prepared to go there today. So letting you know now that that's coming up uh, once the cherry blossoms get here. In case that's something that you need to be prepared for as well. So let's see. We um, we are going to be doing some glowing moss items though. And it looks like we have plenty of it here to choose from. I don't know why I'm like skipping parts and running over. I usually when I come pick the glowing moss, I just pick like all the ones that are fully grown first for some reason. <laughs> So I guess I don't need to do that. I don't know how much of this we're going to need. We only have a couple glowing moss recipes. It's like the um, the glowing moss balloon and the little, the small rock. But we're going to be making some of those because I decided that that would make some nice lighting for what I'm going to call a resting place. I don't want to use the word cemetery or graveyard just because both of those kind of have spooky connotations with it and we're not going to be going any kind of spooky direction with it we're going to just make a nice resting place so that's what we're going to call it all right we've got 57 glowing moss in our pocket i think that's probably going to be enough for what we're going to need to do we're not even building it today i just wanted to go ahead and get that gathered up but yeah let's get back to larkshire because we've got a hole to dig today. Ooh, another money tree. <laughs> I love it when we just randomly find these that I forgot about. This is what happens when you don't, um, you don't come in every day or don't run the whole island every day at least. I'm gonna take this one out. So we get too many trees otherwise. Okay, let's see here. And I haven't done, I have picked up the seashells this morning, but I haven't talked to anybody yet. Francine, how are you doing today? What a pleasure it is to see you today, Carrot. There are things you want to do and things you have to do, but don't forget to do nothing now and then. Well, we have things we have to do today, <laughs> Francine, and we'll be working on those, but we would like you to have this giant clam. Oh no, we can't give it to her. Oh, we faked her out. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and give it to her. And we'll just let her mail her gift back to us. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at that. It's a giant clam. Thank you, Wonderbud. You're too kind. I can't help but feel it's rude to receive gifts and not give something back. Oh, dear. You can't carry a single thing more, can you? I'll send it over to your house instead. Yep, that'll be a nice surprise in our mail tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Francine. Okay, so um, do we have some stuff we need to sell? I think this is mostly stuff that we need to just get out of our pockets. So let's try, let me go throw this 99K in the ABD. Actually, just kidding, because I re realized that we're gonna have to pay off a bridge today. So why don't we just keep that in our pocket? Um, I'm sure some of this stuff is stuff we have to sell, maybe? Oh no, this is a bunch of stuff I picked up for for our build. Um, some of it's going to need to be customized. Let's run through our little forest here. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go drop it in the area. And I have a few other things waiting over here for that build as well. Let's see, grass standy I thought we might use. I'm, I would, went through the storage and picked things that were built by us. Oop, we did buy that stained glass light. Fish container we bought at Nooks today. Uh, the Cypress bathtub and the pop-up toaster both came from balloons this morning. 
so we will have a few things to sell or put away. Uh, I'm actually just going to drop this bag of bells here too for when we need it later for the bridge. So the bridge is actually, I'm going to put it up here on the top. And I've got this bit of fence here that's not going to stay. I mean, we might use it somewhere. You'll notice that I customized it to the purple option. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to fit in with what we're doing here or not. I just thought it might be fun to look at what it looked like. But anyway, so we, um, we have this coming up and this section of the world kind of just goes left and right here. So what I was thinking is that we would put the bridge just like right in the middle of this little skinny section as just part of the path up here. We're just gonna have a path that comes up the stairs and across, and then that'll give us a little room on either side to put some nice decorations or something around the bridge, but that way we'll get our bridge in. It'll be a nice little spot to run through on your way to whatever happens to end up over here. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. How many little spaces wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll probably make it a four spaces long bridge. Let's go ahead and get in construction mode so we can get our hole dug. And we do have waterscaping now. Uh, start construction, yes. So we'll have to figure out how many spaces it is front to back, too. So before we go doing any of that, let's let's kind of mark this. How about that? <laughs> let's get some path and mark this. So there's one space, there's two space. This is... Okay, we're going to go two in from the ends. Okay, that didn't end up on the same line. Don't look. <laughs> but that's how long our bridge is going to be. Just a little four spaces long bridge. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces deep. And the bridge is four spaces wide. So I'm thinking that leaves three spaces. Do we want two in front and one behind, or one in front and two behind? I think we're going to do two in front, just to set the bridge a little further back. So this is where we want. Oh my goodness! I'm just going to make. <laughs> I'm just going to make path everywhere. Hey, stop it! <laughs> I totally didn't mean to do that one. Okay, so this is where our bridge is going to go. This is where we need our hole to be dug. We'll, we'll still be able to fit a couple things back here to kind of supplement it. Um, and that'll give us a little bit of room in front to make something pretty up here above our resting place. So let's get digging. Waterscaping. All right, get ready for some nook miles. Here they come. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we got Nook Miles for changing our outfit, too. Ooh, also, guys, hot item of the day. We need to make sure we do that. And talk to our villagers, because I haven't talked to them for a couple days, I'm going to be honest. I forgot that we were in here to get our first waterscaping, Miles. Yay. Okay. I don't think we're ever going to get the Cliff Miles on this island, because literally the only reason that we got waterscaping was so that we could put a bridge in this acre. And I was just gonna use the little Karopi bridge, but I think this will work out just fine. I think we're gonna like it. it it'll, it'll dress up our path up here, so it won't just be a plain old path through. I really like the idea of just having this bridge for no reason. <laughs> the bridge for no reason. We can be like one of those, uh, like near where I live, there's a place called the Flowering Bridge. Like it's an old bridge that nobody uses anymore. And some, some place just came along and planted a ton of garden down both sides. And you can just go walk the bridge. Like it, it's just in the middle of the land now, but uh, it's got flowers up and down the side and it's just really pretty. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a, uh, 
a flowering bridge. I don't know how much flowers it's going to be, but we'll see. Okay, so now we have to decide. Based on what I'm kind of thinking for down here below, I feel like the stone bridge is going to match better just aesthetically because of the gray. So I think that's what we're going to end up going with. Let's go get our bridge. We'll see how it looks. We can imagine it. So that will give us um, a good idea. I mean, there's one right there, but ours is going to be sideways. Somebody's singing. Who's singing? Where are you? Is it Pashmina? Oh, she stopped. Are you going to sing for us? I love that. I'll even ignore a balloon for you, Pashmina. It's just a blue one. It's probably clay anyway. I love it so much. Okay, guys. This this definitely puts Pajmina on the list for Villager of the Week, I think. We haven't seen too many of our villagers singing, have we? Alright, she's in the running. We're gonna we're gonna have that vote up today, so make sure you go and vote. So we do have a couple other candidates, and that is going to be uh Goose who gave us this. <laughs> Yay, thanks Pashmina. And also Kiki, who just gave us this one. Glee, I love it. All right, so those are our three candidates so far. We may throw in a fourth by the end of the episode, but so far it's Pashmina, Kiki, and Goose. All right, let's, <laughs> let's talk to her and give her her clan for today. Stop wasting time. What's the latest, Pashmina? Some days I get myself super hyped, like just ready and raring to go. Go take a nap. I am 100% there with that this week, <laughs> Pashmina. I have taken a couple naps myself. What's bugging you, kidders? This is for you. Have a clean room suit. Oh yeah, we were totally hoping for one of those. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Get back to your singing now. You totally made our day, friend. <laughs> oh, let's talk to Hans. He's listening to KK, but we'll go ahead and chat with him. Mi amigo! Great to see you. Let's talk. It's that time of day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. I say go for the snack, man. Alright, we already gave Francine her giant clam, right? I think so. I think so. Um, what did we just get Nook Miles for? Oh, talking to three villagers, I bet. Yay! We should go check the hot item while I'm forgetting what else we were over here for. <laughs> oh, bridge. Yes, we were going to get a bridge, but let's go ahead and check the hot item. Aroma pot and natural square table. Okay, the aroma pot, I think that just uses like clay, right? That's a little thing. Aroma pot. Yeah, we can use up some clay. Okay, we'll definitely be making some aroma pots. But first, let's go talk to Tom Nook now that we know what bridge we want. How can I help you? Infrastructure? <laughs> wow, I just gave Tom Nook a total southern accent there. We want bridges and inclines. Yeah, yeah. Let's build a bridge. Pick one, please. We would like, I believe we would like the stone bridge. We're gonna take a look, Tom Nook, and let you know. Um, are you sure about this? Yes. Not at all. <laughs> okay, we have our bridge in our pocket. Let's go give it a look-see. I'm just gonna drop these fossils here until we find the rest. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's the way we wanted to go. <laughs> I'm still getting used to having paths and stuff around here. So I probably will continue the dark dirt path up here leading to the bridge, I'm thinking. I don't know. Let's see. Build here. Should I reserve this spot? Let's imagine it. 
Yeah, super cute. I think that's gonna be fun. Yep, I like it. Okay. A spot for a bridge. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, technically we're terraforming, but I'm not counting it as terraforming because we haven't actually changed the shape of the island in any way. All we did was perk up our path a little bit. So, yep. Besides, it's my island and I can do whatever I want. LOL. <laughs> okay, let's actually um, start laying down this path. Did I just say LOL? Oh my gosh, what is this, 2003? <laughs> Do you guys go through a phase where you like said hashtag in conversation? Like, we're having such a fun day, hashtag building a bridge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. I'm glad we grow out of some things. Although I probably still do it on occasion. All right, we don't quite have enough, um, but we're gonna go ahead and give him the 99,000. And maybe once we do our hot item, we can pay off the rest. Okay, well, we won't be able to put the path all the way up, but we can get it a start. It will need to be right here. Is that the center? Yes, okay. To lay down this path, which I know is super exciting. You're riveted to your seat right now. Grab that popcorn. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do a little bit, just this part leading up to the bridge. We'll do the rest later because that's gonna kinda go off into the next acre anyway. Uh, well, we could put a little bit of it. We, we've got a little bit of room over here, and we can't forget that this little section behind Pashmina's house is part of this acre, too, so we're gonna have to do something down there. All right, but this, um, this takes care of half of our requirement for this build, and we're trying to use as many uh, handcrafted items as we can as our decoration so we will definitely be keeping that in mind as we decorate I do kind of like doing that on the corners it just I think makes it look just a little nicer I don't know I did that on my forever island too because I also have dark dirt paths there I think I just really like them for some reason um, I'm actually not gonna do the path on this side yet because I don't know exactly where it's gonna go it may have to curve down and come this way around the pond. We'll have to see what we end up with in, in the next acre. Which, by the way, I'm not going to put the poll up today because we're going to have the Villager of the Week poll. But sometime in the next couple days, we are going to have a poll on whether we should go right or left from here. Because the... Wait, how do I explain this? Okay. We rolled the dice to find out... The direction that we go starting with acre one and going so forth i hope that makes sense anyway we uh, we started out by going straight up the middle but we're at the end now and we can go either way so we can either go to the left and check out the backwards waterfall situation that a couple of ponds and do that half of the island first or we can go to the right with our little kind of secret area up there on the right and the rest of our pretty view across the river and resident services and all of that. So that vote will be coming up. So take a look at the map there and be thinking about um, what, what you think we should do from here, left or right. Okay, um, where does this, oh yeah, this acre actually ends on the left side of this path. So technically the path we just made is partially in the acre to the right as well. But that's okay because it's gonna be there either way. So now we have to decide, <laughs> we have to decide on what kind of decoration we want around our bridge and what can we build to put there. So yeah, I didn't really get this far in the thought process. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about the space below and I didn't come up with too much for the space up here. So we could actually do some stones. We could do, 
Would it be fun to do some hedge standees maybe in the front to kind of hide the water part under the bridge? Or we could put in some real bushes because we can plant those right next to a bridge. Maybe we should put in some real bridges. Real bushes. Bushes and bridges. All of the above. Real. <laughs> Let's just take a walk through our little park because it's here now and we can. Love it so much. Ooh, balloon. We'll take this one. Can we get through here before it goes away? Yeah, yeah. A glass holder with candle. Perfect. I don't think we had one of those yet here on the island. I've used them on Happy Home Paradise. Oh, Pashmina's still over there singing. We should go see if anybody else is home. Let's see, are we done with the construction part of constructing? I want to say we are, so we're going to get out of that. Okay, while we think about what we might want to use around our bridge, why don't we go ahead and do our hot item and talk to the rest of our villagers. Let's see if Goose is home over here. Oh, he's sitting in his little baseball chair. <laughs> hey, Goose. Thanks for delivering that present to Lucky. You're welcome. Did Lucky say anything? I really don't remember what he said. Oh, actually, we kind of told him that what we gave him was not that great and he shouldn't wear it ever, but that's okay. <laughs> he was nice about it. He said you could still be friends. Ooh, we need this too. Another money tree in the works. Let's see here. Very 10,000. Okay, well that didn't get us closer to paying off our bridge, did it? I don't know how much those little aroma pots are going to sell for. Probably not a super lot. Okay, and... Oh! Yeah, this is where I stuck Mary's house. Right here behind the museum. Because <laughs> I didn't really know where to put it. I didn't want to put it anywhere that we were going to be like working in next or something. So this might be one of the last acres that we're working on. So I just stuck her behind the museum. Sorry, Mary. At least she has a nice vacation home she can go to if she gets fed up with looking at the back of the museum. Oh my gosh, fine. I should have read the instructions. Whatever. Ah. What's up, Wonderbud? What are you doing? <laughs> Making a wooden stool. Awesome. We need that. I don't think we have that one yet. She's building a thing. Do you want to know how to make it? Yes, please. Here you go. Oh, she's got a little aroma pot here in her room. It's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time. All right, can we give you a giant clam while we're here, please? There you go. What? <laughs> a jester costume. Oh, wow. Thanks. Appreciate that. You guys are really just knocking it out of the park today. I'm not really sure what you're trying to tell me with clean room suits and jester costumes, but <laughs> we're going to we're going to not take the hint. Well, I kind of thought I had more than that to sell, but it was literally just the clean room suit and the jester costume because the rest was stuff that we're going to hold on to for now. And my storage is now over here because I moved it up next to our build, but Lucky's home. So we're going to talk to Lucky. Oh, see, he's wearing the shirt that Goose sent him. I told him never to wear that. <laughs> it's so ugly. What you doing? I'm just hanging out talking to the bugs. Did they tell you that your shirt is, like, not a good one? Um, let's just go straight to the giant clam, man. I can't talk to you for long and look at that shirt. A green honeycomb tile wall. Yep, right up there with the other ones. Thanks, Lucky. What did we do to you guys? We're over here working hard, trying to make the island a pretty place for you to live in. And this is the thanks we get. <laughs> Caroline! Hi, Carolee! Let's chat. This weather is just perfect for a stroll around the island, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. Is that why you're sitting under a tree? Okay, let's see if Kiki is home. Is this a giant clam? If it is, I'll pick it up. Nope. I already gathered the seashells once today, so I'm not gonna do it again. Ooh, we'll take those, though. Let's see if Kiki's at home. Because we want to talk to everyone. She is not at home. I haven't seen her anywhere. Ooh, another giant clam. Nice. Um, oh, oh, I just remembered. Okay, and let's go throw this fish container down on the dock, and then I'll tell you what I just remembered. <laughs> it is that, uh, guys, we have the winner, or I should say winners, of the... Who wore it best? You guys all put your votes in. And uh, in case you didn't notice, it was just the girls this week. We're, we had girl week for who wore it best, and we'll do the guys next week. But yeah, uh, it was the blue Sprite, uh, actually it's mint, the mint colored Sprite costume. And there was a tie. There was a tie again. I think this is the second time we've had a tie uh, between our two friendly neighborhood cat villagers. So Mary and Kiki both get one and I had to send them to myself from my other island this morning because I totally forgot to order them myself. <laughs> Here. Oh wait, looks like Hans sent us something. What did Hans send us? What did Wardell send us? Wait, we should check our mail more often. All right, you know that my style is always on point from head to toe and sometimes when I see something that would look good on someone else, I get it for him. Well, today's your lucky day. I am scared, Hans. From what we've got so far, I am so scared to open that. Okay, you gained 10 clients quite quickly. Good job coordinating all of the vacation homes. I must say the party was quite fun. Thank you for everything, Wardell. So Wardell sent us something. We'll find out what that is in a second. And we got another paper kite butterfly model. I think we had one of those already, but Flick was here yesterday, so I went ahead and got that. Okay. Now I can't remember what's from who. Okay, that's the sprite costume. So this should be the other sprite costume. This will be what Hans sent us. Lace-up boots. Yep, yep. That's great for spring. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, large paradise planting rug. Cool and a paper kite butterfly model which i'm going to throw down right here uh, let's go in and put this rug down because i don't think i've actually been inside the house in a couple weeks <laughs> and uh, we haven't even looked at the upstairs yet so here we have an upstairs Ta-da! and now we have a red paradise planting rug in it what else can we throw in here actually i better not throw this stuff down because we might want it uh, later on. I'll just put it in the storage later. It takes too long to do it in the house. Let's get out of here before somebody visits. No offense. We love visitors, but we got stuff to do. All right. What else are we doing? We're supposed to be um, doing hot items so we can pay off our bridge. So let's get that done. We're not going to get any decorating done today, you guys, but at least we got it placed. Okay, so let's put some stuff away. Then we're gonna get out some clay. Ooh, we do not have as much clay in storage as I thought we would. All right, I'm just gonna craft a bunch of these right now and be right back. Okay, we made quite a few. And guys, I went, I went and gave Mary a giant clam earlier, didn't I? So we're not gonna be able to give her her sprite costume today. Going to have to <laughs> put it over here next to her house so that I don't forget next time silliness if we can find Kiki though we can give her hers um, but let's go sell these hot items see if we can get close to the 68,000 more bells that we need for our bridge we want to sell yeah honeycomb tile wall also sell Lace-up boots also sell. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of that. Okay, well that didn't, yeah, that didn't get us super close. What else can we do? We need to learn this recipe. A little wooden stool. That's like an essential item on an island, isn't it? I can't believe we didn't have that. Of course, it's easy not to notice that stuff when you haven't been doing any decorating yet. 
Ooh, let's not forget we have this nice ruined arch we might be able to use somewhere. I'm gonna have to go gather seashells again too. For sure. Now where do we think that Kiki might be hanging out? If she's not at home and we haven't seen her in our wanderings, let's just take a peek over here in case she's near the campsite or something. I don't see her. I don't see her wandering around up here anywhere. We might have to check in the museum. <laughs> Our villagers' favorite place to hide. Oh, let's grab these apples. Oh, another money tree, yes! I am so kind of glad today that I'm so neglectful <laughs> of chopping down our money trees because we, that just made this easier. Another 30,000. So what are we at now? 58? See, we only need 10,000 more. We can pay off our bridge. Yay, hooray. Let's get this fruit and go sell it. And we'll check around for Kiki. Is she the only one we haven't talked to yet? I guess I better check. We talked to Lucky. We talked to Goose. We talked to Caroline. Mary Hans... Francine, Pajmina. Yep, Kiki's the only one we haven't talked to, so we're gonna try to do that. Who's over here? Why is everybody over here all of a sudden? Okay. Let's see, Let's see if this fruit is enough. There's a little bit more in the back that we can gather. And we are going to need to gather it. <laughs> that was only 7,000 bells and we needed 10,000. I guess I could have done that math in my head, but i just like not there today. Let's see. We have, yeah, a little more. Another peach tree, pear tree, and orange tree back here. This should do it. This should get us to our goal. And then we'll go check the museum for our black cat. And that put us over 70,000. So we're good to pay off our bridge now. Let's go make it happen. Let's go do it. Pashmina's still singing. She's got a song in her heart today. <laughs> She's gonna share it with everybody. I love that. All right, Lloyd, listen up. Yup, yup. We have it. Ooh, we just have it. <laughs> we'll have a thousand little bells left to our name. Donate. Okay, cool. So that will be there when we play again on Tuesday. And maybe we'll be able to decorate it up some. I don't think the cherry blossoms are going to be here by then. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like they're coming late this year. Uh, so let's go see if we can find Miss Kiki. Hey, here she is checking out the dinosaurs. Kiki, look who it is, Wonderbud. Nice to see you here, kitty cat. Nice to see you too. Uh, do you want this? Everyone thought you looked great in it. Little sprite costume. A sprite costume? You really want to give this to me? I'm gonna try wearing this and see how it feels on me. Thanks! I love how I feel right now. I have something here for you. A shop uniform shirt. Thanks. That's, uh, you know, fits right in with the rest. Thank you. Alright, well there she is. Little Kiki in her sprite outfit. <laughs> I love it so much. Our villagers sure do love the museum. 
All right, friends. Well, that's going to do it for today. We're here for a little goldfish goodbye. It's been one of those days where it's kind of been a lot of running and not much get done in, but that's okay. Days like that are okay too. <laughs> we did make some progress with our Acre 4 build and we talked to all our villagers, which I really wanted to accomplish today. So thank you so much for joining me for another episode here on Larkshire. I appreciate you so much for being here. Please take a moment, if you would, and click the like button. And if you enjoy cozy days like today in Animal Crossing, go ahead and click subscribe as well so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.